All right, you might be able to hear my kids playing in the background. I'm not sure, but we'll try this out. So we're going to do a word problem. And in this particular case, this word problem is related to uh, creating and or solving equations. Right now, this is a uh, uh, grade nine. So, uh, whoops, helps if you have color. So MPM1D is the actual course code. So um, using new software here, I apologize if my handwriting is not the greatest. So the situation, we take a look at word problems and we have to understand what we're reading. The important thing here is to break it down into little pieces. So we have in a basketball game, okay, so that's just a situation, no big deal. The Raptors, so that's one of the teams, scored this many points. So here's an equation we're gonna have to keep track of. And then the Lakers, which is just another team, scored this many points. So another equation of points. So we've got our two situations. In these expressions, x represents the value of a three-point shot. So x is the equivalent of a three-point shot. y is the equivalent of a two-point shot. And z, the equivalent of a free throw or a single-point shot. We are going to probably want to copy down those equations. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So we've got our Raptors and we've got our Lakers. Here's our two equations. I haven't even read officially the question. So let's take a look at the first question. Which team won the game? Well, in order to win the game, you need to have the most points. So let's find out how many points the Raptors scored and then how many points the Lakers scored. All right, minor technical malfunction right in the middle of the video there, but I'm back. And so let's continue. So which team won the game? So let's talk about the Raptors first. Well, we've got eight somethings, 41 somethings, and 17 somethings. Well, what are those somethings? Well, they're three-point shots, two-point shots, one-point shots. Thankfully, those values were given to us in the question. So what we're going to do is we're going to find out how much is eight three-point shots plus 40, plus 41 two-point shots plus 17 one-point shots? And so we're going to replace the letter X with its value. That's called a substitution. Replace the letter Y with its value. Replace the letter Z with its value. Eight times three, 24. 41 times two, 82. 17 times one. 17. Add all that up and through the magic of science and mathematics, 123. Their point total was 123 that game. And so now let's take a look at the Lakers. I don't particularly like this program. It's not showing off my writing skills. It's making them look really horrid. <clears throat> so same deal here. We're going to replace three pointers with their value two pointers with their value and one pointers with their value. So three, two, one. And so the Lakers had 18 points from three pointers, 86 points from two pointers and only 14 points in free throws. And when we add 18 and 86, and 14, we get 118, question mark? Let's see here. This is 118, yeah, 118. And so therefore, who won the game? The Raptors. And Oops, now we can take a look at question B. How many two-point shots did the Raptors score? What do we have to do to find that out? Do we have to come up with an equation for ourselves? Do we have to come up with some sort of crazy math or, or anything like that? Let's, let's examine what we've got in the Raptors equation. We've got number of three-pointers. number of two pointers and number of one pointers and the question is 
specifically asking how many two-pointers. So it's staring at us right here. If a two-pointer is the letter Y, they did that 41 times. The Raptors scored, oops, 41 two-point shots. And that's it. And I hope that not only helps you with the question, I mean, it's one thing to get the answer right in this question, but it's really the importance of understanding word problems and how I'm going about understanding what's being asked of me. And I'll do another example. I'm going to do another question now in just a second that is slightly different where we have to come up with the equation and requires you to really understand what's been written in the question. All right, here we have another word problem. The total, and right away that means we know that we are putting things together. Another word for putting things together is sum or adding. Of three sisters ages is 39. Is 39. And is the equal sign. Dina is half as old as Michelle. Okay, so let D represent Dina's age. We're going to let M represent Michelle's age. And we know that Dina's age plus Michelle's age plus a third sister, uh, Juliet. So Juliet. So let J represent, and this thing is writing funny for some reason, Juliet's age. <clears throat> If we add them all up, we get 39. And we've got some details about Dina. Dina is half as old as Michelle. Dina is half as old as Michelle. Um, you might think of that as Dina is half as old as Michelle. And those two things are the same. And three years younger than Juliet. So Dina is also Juliet minus Three because Dina is younger by three years. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to replace the M and the J with just D. We, we can get just Ds in this scenario. And it's a little tricky. We, we don't normally think this way. Let's take a look at replacing the M. So I want to replace the letter M with something else in its place. So right now what I've got is I've got D equals M divided by two. Now how do I get M by itself? I will multiply both sides by two and I will have two D is M. I think I used a different pink there. Let me go back to that one. Is M. And so now I can replace that M with the 2D because M is 2 times D. This thing's really not writing very nicely. Now, if you think about that, if Dina is half of Michelle's age, then that makes sense. Michelle is 2 times older than Dina. Now let's replace the J. So we're going to replace J. And this one's a little tiny bit simpler. What we're going to do to get J by itself is we're going to add 3 on both sides. And so that'll, that'll be Dina plus 3. So Juliet is Dina's age plus 3 years. And that makes sense because Dina is 3 years younger than Juliet. And so now I can replace that letter J with D plus 3. And together they all are 39 years of age in total. 
We will collect our like terms, distribute if we have to. What we end up with is 4D plus 3 is 39. I can subtract 3 on both sides. And I can divide both sides by 4. And this tells me that Dina wouldn't normally circle with a cloud, but Dina is 9 years old. And from here, we can get Juliet's age and Michelle's age. Michelle is 2 times Dina, or 2 times 9. And Juliet is D plus 3, or 9 plus 3. And we can check to make sure that this adds up to 39, and it does, because 12 and 18 make 30. Add the 9 is 39. And there you go. Always read the word problem piece by piece, write down what you know, define your variables, and work from there.